Hey guys, welcome back. Today's gonna to be a super special one because we're out here at Gatorback in Florida testing the brand new Triumph TF250X. This is the brand new 254 stroke dirt bike. It's their introduction to motocross. This thing is built from scratch, ground up. They've been developing this thing for five years now, even though it seems like a bit of a quick overnight process. They've assured us it's not. I've heard some amazing things about the bike, so we're super excited to get out and test it today. I've not had this in a while. Special treatment. When was the last time you had all this treatment, Dave? Time to go now. <laughs> you enjoy it. So pretty cool, um, I guess, service and support here. They've got like a load of the race team guys out. KYB out here helping out and stuff like that. Helping us set our levers up, make sure the sag's all dialed. They're not messing around. When they say they're going all in, that's what they're doing. I'm an all in type of guy. That's <laughs> all you got. Right, I'm gonna go off and just, some of the jumps look quite big, so I'm gonna go and amp myself up and size them up a little bit. I'll see you in a minute. So I've just finished up looking at the track. It looks amazing, but just being cautious because you've got to go a bit careful when you come to America. The jumps are a bit bigger than back home. So just been making sure I'm all good with this tabletop here. But other than that, everything else looks chill. So, oh, it's exciting. We've been, it feels like we've been here for ages. And we've just been setting the bikes up, getting all these shots and stuff. But finally, in about 10 minutes, we're allowed to go out and rip around this track. And it is, all jokes aside, I don't even know what to call this. It's amazing. Perfect. Honestly, I never normally feel too comfy on stock bikes, especially when they're brand new and felt comfy right away. Um, suspension's really plush. The motor's super, super strong, very similar characteristics to a KTM. I uh, feel like you can kind of ride it in either second or third in most turns. You can kind of leave it in second, rev the thing out, and it keeps revving through the range real good. Uh, but also, likewise, you can just kind of leave it in third, give it a couple flicks of the clutch, and it takes off. I feel like one thing they've done really really good is they've kind of taken the best bits from all bikes. Uh, one of the things that I'd say tends to let the Austrian bikes down is the stock suspension. So they've gone in with the KYB front and rear which is super plush, bit of tuning you'll be good to go but then they've also fitted it with like really good things like Brembo, uh, master cylinders and clutch. I just think it's such a good compromise of good parts especially with the aluminium frame. It is a sweet spot which I don't think any other manufacturers really kind of hit before.
experience. That's it's been um, just fun a few laps with Ricky there and Ivan Tedesco's here, Clement de Salle, a bunch of other Triumph test riders. Um, what an experience, I've, I've, as you can imagine, I've never been on a track with the GOAT before. So that's been a bit of a bucket list. It's been a lot of bucket lists. I've always wanted to ride Gatorback. I can't really say I've always wanted to ride the Triumph because it's brand new, but it's still a bucket list thing, riding a brand new, not even fully released yet bike and then getting a ride with Ricky Carmichael. And he's just such a nice guy. He was like, so chill to just like ride around with you, like cut like insides and outsides, let you go in front, he'll go back in front. And I, that's been the coolest thing today. It's just not, not just him either, like all of the guys involved, everyone's been super nice. So I just wanted to go over a few of the sort of like cool features of this new bike. Um, first of all, there's tons of buttons. It's like, a, it's like an airplane. Um, so you've got your standard kind of start and kill switch on one side, but then on this other side here, We've got four different kind of buttons that activate different things. At the top, we've got launch control. Tried that, genuinely works really good. When you kind of come over the gate, it uh, kind of retards the ignition a little bit when it should be spinning. And then when you hit the dirt, it just seems to pull a lot better versus when you don't have it um, engaged. Quick shift, quite a cool little feature. Um, for me, I always use the clutch when I'm shifting anyway, and this enables you to not use the clutch, but I found myself still using the clutch when I was doing it. Um, so probably not something I'd use, but definitely a cool feature. Traction control, again, uh, really good feature for a lot of riders and on different conditions and stuff like that to help with the rear end grip. But there's a couple bits on the track where I found like I was needing the back end to slide in order to ride the lines I wanted to ride. And it would kind of stop that. So I'm not saying it's a bad feature. It's definitely very good. I've just never personally been a big fan of traction control in general. Then at the bottom, we've got the map switch, the M. Uh, so there's two different maps on here. One is the kind of all out, all power map, which I spent most of the day in. And then map two is a little bit more mellow. Uh, probably good for if a track's got a little bit of water on it, or if you're maybe a slightly lower level rider, but they're saying that they've got uh, an app kind of in the works and ready, maybe even ready to go. That it's going to have a lot more map customization and you can reprogram your second map to however you like it so yeah a lot of cool features on this bike yeah it's uh it's definitely a lot of fun to ride you get good feedback and i honestly think it's going to be a real big contender in the market anyway we're going to go out probably strap the gopro on soon get a few more riding clips and uh give you a bit of onboard action right so we're all settled in now happy on the bike uh strap the gopro on so i'm going to take you for a couple of laps around the main gateback track <laughs>
Right guys, so that is it. It's the end of the day here at Gator Back. We've had a full day riding the new Triumph TF250X. Bike's absolutely brilliant. They've smashed it out of the park. It's been a good day all round, so see you at the next one.